Hi folks, it's Jerry from Rauta and it's time to talk about some workout. Now there's been a little bit of a pause between my workout videos because there really hasn't been much to tell recently except for my deadlift which has been going rather well. And uh, I know that these three big main lifts that people do in powerlifting but also beyond that, that is squat, bench press and deadlifts, well, everybody seems to have usually one or maybe two if they're lucky the kind of a main presses the ones that people really kind of uh, dominate with and then there is one or two which are so much more on the background everybody has a weak spot and for me it's bench press that's why you really don't see uh, me so often benching first of all it's kind of a hard to really do videos of them by yourself i mean it's not so easy actually just you know put it down on a tripod your phone or whatever camera you're using and secondly uh, my bench press just sucks that is there is not really something to uh, shoot about because you know there isn't really that much progress going on so today I'm gonna focus on deadlift which has been going really really well this year that is I've actually gotten two personal bests with my deadlift this year so what I what is my topic really? Well, that's kind of a hard for me to explain, but I guess it should be named with one word, and that is consistency. That is the kind of a quality work, uh, and the term to use that kind of a what it's supposed to be quality work that is, and also that you go ups and downs every now and then. So it's not all just like happily going, you know, upwards all the time, and you know, all that stuff. So for example, year 2020, I was doing fine with deadlifts. Uh, until about maybe October last year, maybe it was November, something like that. And I, it seemed like I'd be going, you know, forward. Well, then kind of a COVID pretty much stopped me to go with my regular gym. And, you know, uh, for various reasons, it seemed like my uh, powerlifting uh, thing were not, you know, being so much dominated by deadlift. I think my squats actually got a little bit better, but I had kind of a plateau with the uh, deadlifts. So when I got back to the, you know, my regular gym where I do those deadlifts, you, you see me using Texas powerlift or actually deadlift bar. Um, you know, it seemed like first months, early 2021, uh, seemed like a hard, hard time for me. It seems like I have gotten backwards. That is gone to, I don't know, maybe a something like spring 2020 instead of where I was late 2020. So uh, obviously these are the times that you kind of start questioning yourself like what I'm doing wrong. I mean, with age, things are like happening like, okay, you're not as strong as you used to be. Maybe you don't sleep enough and blah, blah, blah. You get all these excuses going in your head and some of them are real reasons. Some of them are just, you know, your mind starting to act up really. So for me, it was basically, you know, getting back to basics. It's not so much that I, you know, changed my um, lifting program. In fact, quite the contrary, I've been sticking to 531 as a real loyalist to the program um, because it has really worked for me, especially with squat and deadlifts. Not so much maybe bench press, but I guess the problem isn't really with the program, but, you know, me lacking size and that way lacking also power and strength. But when it comes to deadlift, so I was basically taking uh, maybe a step or two backwards and then it started pretty much grinding to the top. That is, first I noticed that my 2021 spring gains were pretty much on the same level as spring 2020, which wasn't bad obviously, but it felt like I had gone a step backward. But something that sometimes that is exactly what you really need to do. Like for instance, sometimes you are not able to progress. So you may be uh, drop down a little bit of your weights, you go uh, a, little, a little bit lighter weights, and, but maybe you add a little bit volume, and then you start, you know, building from that. And that's exactly what happened to me. So come summer 2021, and it seems like, oh, I'm already getting re really, really close to uh, what my best attempts, be it multiple reps or just like one or two rep maxis were in 2020. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm really getting hopeful. I'm, I'm not getting my hopes up for no reason because actually, you know, comparing these, you know, figures I had in 2020 to 2021, I'm like, okay, 
I see the progress happening. It's just not like in my head. It's actually happening. And come, you know, uh, July 2021, and I was like, okay, now I'm feeling really good. Some of my multiple rep maxes were better than in 2020, but still that is not exactly the same as having heavy two rep max, not to mention one rep max. That is the ultimate number one. So uh, in the past, uh, I don't actually remember anymore when it was, but I got this uh, 255 and it was like, yay, now it's happening. Then uh, maybe a few weeks later, it was like 257.5. And that was actually after a heavy multiple rep set. And I was like, okay, this was late July and I already had gotten like maybe three different, two reps, two, uh, new records for myself when it comes to, comes to these multiple repetitions versus just this one. So I felt like okay, T16 is T16 is definitely coming soon. But then I attempted it a few weeks later and I didn't have really this peak moment. And no, 260 wasn't moving. So I was like, okay, okay let's get back to the program. Uh, basically, I never left it, but you know, that idea to just like take a little bit of a pause between these attempts. And uh, yeah, last weekend I actually got it. So uh, first of all, I did this kind of a goofy video because I was heading to a metal event. So I decided to give this 222.5 so many reps as possible. My previous record was like eight. So I was like, okay, let's do for let's do nine, and I did ten. So it was like a well a new record in that sense. And uh, also, I figured out maybe today is the paycheck day, so to speak. So had uh, some 10 minutes break, went for one, two, 50, relatively heavy, but still felt like I have this energy. I was basically still recovering from that, you know, volume set. So I figured a few minutes more and I'm gonna do that 20, 260. And that's how it happened. So to have this kind of a point in this happy story is that Sometimes you just need to focus on the program and you need to just accept that sometimes it's just two steps backward before you can actually walk forward. And I'm actually in the same spot with my squats now. Like a few weeks ago, my squats were better than what they're now. So instead of like, for example, getting like three reps for 212.5 or so, which I did a couple of months ago, like uh, this week I got only two there was no energy for me. And I don't know whether it, whether or not it's related how I'm recovering from deadlifts. And that doesn't really matter to me at this point. The point here is that I learned my lesson once again. It was kind of a sweet reminder with this deadlift that sometimes you need to just grind it. Maybe I need to just get a little bit lighter with my squats and do a little bit more volume and then head back towards these heavier sets because now it seems like I have hit the wall for the time being. Same goes for bench press. Bench press has been a little bit up and down the whole year for me, but it's gotten a little bit better maybe. Not exactly making, you know, that much of a progress, but at least it's been very consistent in terms of um, how many reps I have been doing. So the bottom line of this video before I move on and show you some of those deadlift videos to conclude the whole story is here that be patient, sleep well, eat well, and don't stress about it that you don't make near um, one rep maxis every few months or even every year. Sometimes it takes quite a while. Sometimes you need to go back to the drawing board and maybe reset your program, maybe even do something else for a while. Maybe it's volume work for a couple of months or maybe it's actually vice versa. Who knows? But I'm not an expert once again. I'm just basically wanting to remind you that, you know, stress doesn't really help you. What helps that you keep your mind in check, you keep yourself cool and you do the work. Keep the consistency. I mean, breaks can really ruin it for you and they give you these bad ideas. They're like poison to the mind. And after all, mind is what matters the most. I mean, it doesn't matter how prepared your body is, but if your mind is not ready to do those lifts, it doesn't matter whether your body is already in game. Obviously, it goes a little bit both ways. I mean, maybe your mind is ready to do those lifts, but your body is not. So obviously, you need both parts. But on a perfect day, 
perfectly prepared, having uh, enough nutrition, having proper sleep and all that stuff, these miracles called One Red Maxis, new, pro or new records, they do happen. So um, keep the quality high, remember to follow your program, and if things don't work, think twice before you just like change it, because change too often and you don't really get to see those results, you don't really get those fruits of your work, so to say. That's all. Now I'm going to include a couple of uh, lifting videos from a couple of weeks and uh, let them inspire you and go to the gym, make some gains and do those videos for yourself. And when you do reps, share with your friends. I mean, that feel good is pretty much guaranteed. This is Rauta out from working out at the home garage. Take care and uh, stay strong, stay metal. So here is the mid-September uh, lift with some 230 kilos. This one went for some nice eight reps, which I was really happy about because, you know, volume tends to be very, very taxing with this kind of a amount of weights. But yeah, it felt great and my friend was there to kind of boost me up. So really happy about it. see some bands after this one, so I'm gonna do some heavy lifting and then a few beers. What do you say about that? Okay, so you can drink as many beers as you do reps. So you mean like if I do only five reps, that's like five beers max? Yes. Fuck! <laughs> okay, let's, let's do some lifting then. This is better to go all right, man. Four beers. Six beers. Eight beers. Haha, ha, that finish. One more. So that's to mean that I get to drink ten beers today. Thanks. And to conclude this video, here is why my 260 kilos. I hope you enjoy it.